talking about how to double your energy level. This is Vishal Sarkar here. And what I do basically is I turn successful corporate professionals and business leaders, and I turn them into powerful and unforgettable speakers and turn them powerful in every single area of their lives. And today, um, in the next couple of minutes, what you're about to discover is exactly a simple thing that most people don't talk about, um, about how to be a very, very energetic um, leader. Now, I'm talking about energy in terms of how you show up in your professional life, how you show up in your personal life, how you show up um, in your relationships, how you show up with your friends, how you show up online, how you show up for yourself when you're alone. Because I see that there is a common uh, mistake, a common problem that a lot of successful leaders face. Now, whether you are an HR manager, you are, a, you are an IT professional, you are a vice president, you are a CEO, you are a doctor, you are a lawyer, um, or you are, let's say, an operations head in a big company. One of the common challenges that a lot of leaders face is um, they do a lot. And tell me if that's you. By the way, if you're watching me live, let me know below right now so I can, I can know about you. Uh, if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay if you're on Facebook right now. But one of the common problems that I see many times people face is they are doing a lot in their personal life. They are, they are high performers, high achievers, right? So they, you wake up in the morning and you have things set out already. You have your to-do list, you have things like your power list, your, your focus in your professional life, your personal life, your kids, your wife or husband, your, you gotta take care of the parents, you gotta take care of the bills, you gotta do the meetings, there are phone calls, there are emails, there are things you gotta do for yourself. You also wanna make sure that you're constantly updated about everything, all the crazy things happening in the world today. And as a result, what, what generally sometimes happens is that you are, you, you feel, Kind of, kind of overwhelmed. You feel like you're being pulled into different directions. You feel like you're being sandwiched. Um, has, it, has it happened to you? You feel sandwiched, like you are the middle meat and you're sandwiched between personal life and professional life. And you feel like you're juggling too many balls, but somehow you're, you're not getting much done because you lack the energy. And, and it's not that you lack the physical energy, but there is something internally that you lack. And Maybe you try to solve that problem. Maybe you have tried, you know, you, you do the yoga. A couple of days ago, we had the International Yoga Day. Maybe you have taken those, you know, photos and asked your spouse to take the photo and post it on, on your WhatsApp status. That is amazing. But hey, your energy did not come back even then. Or maybe what you do is that you take a membership in a gym or you do some deep breathing exercise or you think, you know, water is the secret to my energy. So you drink more water. But at the end of the day, you think, there is something that I'm missing. By the way, is that is that you? Do you sometimes feel that I'm not able to crack that energy code? If you think about it, what is the cost of that? What is the impact? What is the implication? If you don't solve that problem, what basically starts happening is that you know you you have a lot of it's almost like you have many you know Google Chrome tabs open in your brain. You're not able to shut down. It's taking a lot of brain RAM in your brain computer and you're not able to shut off. And that's why, even though sometimes you have six, seven, eight hours of sleep, even though you read a lot about sleep, you hear a lot about sleep, you are not getting the quality sleep. You're not sleeping like a baby. So you do all kinds of physical exercise or you do, uh, you drink the right food, uh, drink the right, you know, um, the right amount of water, you are taking the right nutrition, but you still feel there is something missing. Is that you, by the way? And just so you understand, when I work with leaders, uh, whether they are, you know, they have 20 years of experience or 35 years of experience, we take them through a 15 step ritual. That doesn't mean you do it every day. You do it one ritual every other day for 30 days and people double their energy level. And each of the ritual takes five minutes. So you do on day one, ritual number one, day two, you don't do anything. Day three, ritual number two, day, you know, just like that. But I, we're not going to talk about those rituals today. We're talking about the solution right now. What is the solution? I'll tell you the simplest thing you can do right now to double your energy level right now, to, to clear the chaos, to find the focus, to activate that aliveness in you. And that is very simply stop arguing with people. Arguments lower your energy. Be okay with being wrong. 
when you're talking to somebody. I'll tell you right now, this can be a game changer for you. One of the more, one of the biggest problems, hi Sandhya, hi Rajan, hi Ahmed. One of the biggest problems that many people face is that you think that you trying to prove your point right gives you credibility. And there is there's some space and time for that, but most often than not, more often than not, most often, even if you win that argument after 25 minutes about a silly point about what, whether coffee is good or bad with somebody, your energy goes down. You feel relief for a second because your dopamine endorphin rush is happening and then your energy goes down. Let me give a quick example right now. Yeah, hello, 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 Mehdi. Here's, the, here's a quick example. I used to... Um, Talk to a friend uh, until about six months ago, almost once a week, and she was going through a tough time. And I understand that I had I had empathy for her, and we used to talk sometimes uh, just to share her share ideas, share things going on, just like friends do. Even though I don't spend a lot of time on the phone generally, but then um, I saw a pattern. I saw a pattern that every single time I spoke with her, somehow my energy went down. So I one night I was you know. Um, I'm gonna show you my journal some, some other day. I have a couple of different journals here, but I was just, I was, uh, I was journaling and I wrote down that on which days am I actually feeling uh, low on energy level? We have too many journals right now coming up here right now and they have a place and maybe someday I'm gonna do an entire session on journaling. But I saw that every single time I spoke with her, my energy was down. And then I understood that it's not her, she was not making my energy down. I took responsibility for that. Then I started thinking, what was going on? And that's when I realized that every single time she was coming up with her point of view or anything like that, I was trying to prove a different point to her. I was trying to say, no, 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 this is not right. That is right. Don't think this way. Why are you feeling sad? Have you thought about this way? And by me trying to be right to her when she was not ready, it did not help her. Also, it took my energy down and it's a lose-lose scenario. Can you see what I'm talking about? Let me know in the chat box if, you, if you're getting what I'm talking about. And me just doing that was a disservice to her because her mind was not open to receive my ideas. And I was just doing a disservice to myself because me wasting so much of energy trying to prove my point right when she was not ready for that took my energy down. And next day, I was thinking, now I have to prove my point even better because last day I couldn't, you know, I'm a human being just like you. So I, I have my need of trying to be right. My question to you is what if you let go of your desire to be right completely? What if you let go of your desire to be perceived as somebody who has all the answers? What if you let go of your desire to look like a perfect human being? What if you let go of your desire to win every single argument. See, these days on social media, everybody tells you how five-day workshop on how to win every argument that they're spending crores of rupees to tell you to win every argument so that you win an argument for five seconds and then you have low energy for the next 16 hours. How foolish is that? That's my opinion. I want to hear from you. What, what is your opinion about that? How can you stop wasting energy? So that you let go of your desire to be right and you focus on what's productive, right? I don't have to make you wrong for me to be right. If I know I'm right, I don't have to prove it to you. I have seen most of us try to prove our point right when we have doubt in ourselves, self-doubt. Look, I work with a lot of leaders, a lot of professionals. We teach them how to be powerful speakers. And I'm going to show you a quick video of an individual. His name is Abhishek. He's from Mumbai. And when he first came to me, um, you know, he was already a senior manager in, the, in, a, in a very, very highly reputed company in India. And when he first came to me, <clears throat> he had a lot of stammering going on in his communication. Uh, he was already 45 year old at that time. And, and there were a lot of things going on in, in his life. And he joined his our public speaking course. And then he joined my 12 month uh, mentorship, the Elite Transformation Mastermind. And I want you to hear from him. He just took his phone away, phone out one day. And we had this seven day fearless speaking and fearless uh, living challenge, which is basically 
as a group in the mastermind, one thing I, I do at least once in six months is we find out your top, the deepest fears that you have. And I show you exactly how to turn that fear into your confidence instantly within seven days in all, all those different things. So everything, not just speaking, maybe you have a fear of, you know, approaching somebody, you have a fear of calling that high level client who, that can bring, who knows, 150 crore rupees to your, to your organization, whatever that fear is, or maybe you have a fear of uh, calling that individual that you didn't speak to or didn't call for the last one year, or maybe you have a fear of confronting somebody who you know is not doing something right. Or maybe it's a fear about you looking into your life and finding what is right for you. Whatever that thing is, Abhishek had many things. And uh, for many years, he was not giving time uh, to himself, to his family at the, at the optimum level, even though he was a very good person. Uh, and after the seven day experience, which is seven day, by the way, it's not a seven day course. We have a 12 month coaching program. I, we don't have any low level courses or programs. He joined the mentorship and within the first few days, first seven days in the 12 month journey, here is what he had to say. Check this out. Uh, Abhishek Jha signing from Bombay. This is my fearless communication video. What, what a week. I mean, uh, you know, uh, looking at your innermost fears in its eyes and then deciding to confront it and conquer it. It has been a rock star of a week. I mean, I, I stood up for a female colleague of mine. I finally went up and spoke to my super boss and I asked him, what's up? <laughs> what are you doing? I visited a dentist, uh, got a couple of my teeth fixed. I took my daughter out you know, on a Sunday morning in a crowded vegetable market and did some shopping like, you know, I used, do, I used to do with my father when I was small. I just say, you know, I just want to say that doing all these things, confronting my fears, I just felt so relaxed, so free, so inspired and so confident that you know, I just can't fathom this feeling. Thank you very much, Vishal, for making me do this. And thank you very, very much for actually making us all realize the importance of conquering our own demons and doing this on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you so much. This is why I do what I do. For me, it's not about just money. For me, it's not just about being a speaker. For me, it's about when people like Abhishek transform their life. They, they take the daughter to the vegetable shop. They call the colleague, they go to the boss, they, they, they face the fears. And instead of being the fear ahead of them, they make the fear behind them because they're moving forward. You know, you do that by not trying to be right, but trying to be resourceful. So here is my next step. You have a couple of different options. Option number one is do nothing with this information that you got today, which means um, you say, hey, like the video, comment, and, but, but don't do anything. Go watch more videos, more videos. Uh, second option you have is you know, definitely take the action to not, not try to be right all the time. Try to see the point of view from the other person. And when you know that there is, there is a lot of argument going on, try to back up and say, hey, you might be right. You know what? Now I, now I, now I see your point you save your energy because your energy is not unlimited, right? You have limited energy. I have limited energy. Everybody has limited time and energy. Understand that. Even though the spiritual gurus has unlimited energy, we don't have unlimited energy. We do not. Think about it. We don't. Like this water bottle, for example, this has limited water. It is not unlimited water, right? Now it's, it's 500 ml. Just like that, you have limited energy and you wasting it. If I take the water bottle and I waste it on the floor for, without a reason, then I'm going to left, be left with just this much water. Well, that's the most I can drink in the same way. So uh, it can happen. The second way is, you know, definitely you can do this. Third option that you have um, is not just implement, but if you really want me to personally train you and coach you to make you a world-class speaker, um, I'm going to tell you exactly how that can happen for you. I'm going to quickly show you this video and we're going to wrap up this, wrap up this, um, this uh, live stream today right now. I want to uh, quickly talk about this individual um, whose name is Dr. Shiv. Hi, and Dr. he just uh, wants to talk about exactly how he transformed his speaking skills. So if you 
Um, whether you have stage fear or maybe not, maybe sometimes you speak, you feel your energy is not very high when you speak. Maybe you're missing that punch, that connect, or maybe sometimes you want to just develop that spontaneous speaking skills or, or whatever that thing is, uh, or maybe you want to master your voice or body language. Check out what Dr. Shiv has to say. Hi, I'm Dr. Shiv Kumar. And the biggest learning for today for me is like uh, the four quadrants of voice modulation, like which Bishal explained very clearly. And he's a man with... Uh, who gives very practical solutions for your problems like and about your facial expressions during your presentation your body language and all those kind of stuff and uh, I feel really pumped up for today's session and uh, I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group because he's a person who really builds confidence in each one of you and I am a, a real-time example for it like when you attend a session like everything is gone and you, you're totally pumped up to face the future and I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group and get benefited become a confident person confident speaker and have a purposeful life thank you yeah that purposeful life thing that he spoke about you know you can see his energy level how he increased and we have some tools and techniques that we teach but it starts with your confidence then it starts with your communication with others then it starts with you know it ends with how much of impact you want to leave every single time you communicate so if you want to know more about it reach out to us We'll be happy to talk to you. Uh, my team member is going to take care of you and tell you which program is the right fit for you. Um, if you are the right uh, candidate for our program, we have people from, let's say, 10 years of experience to 35 years of work experience. Um, people who are really, who really want to go to the high level. If, if you're looking for, um, you know, like a theoretical program, there are many people out there you can go to. There are people who um, can teach you the theory by giving you a bunch of videos. I don't teach videos. I teach people. What I mean by that is I have a, a very practical experience and that's why we don't take everybody. We are very selective about who we work with. But if you believe that I can help you, if you have been enjoying the videos, get in touch with our team member and ask them, hey, what do you recommend? Here is my situation. Here is my problem. Here is the result I want. And we are going to be uh, happy to tell you exactly uh, what, what we believe is the right thing for you. Okay, that's all I got. Bishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Take care. Bye.